Good morning. So I'm Florida Muro. I would like to present to you a research enrichment, community and public engagement project plan at KCMC. Uh, just to give you a bit of a background, uh, at KCMC we had a meeting where we reviewed together with the fellows uh, some of their proposals regarding the uh, community engagement and we managed to submit the proposal as well for ethical approval. Um, we were able to discuss and review what so far the fellows had done and brainstorm now the actual rest of implementation plans. This was one of the meetings. And uh, in our brainstorming, we wanted to join efforts among the fellows in using at least two schools. We had chosen the Form 1 and Form 3 because these are the non-examination classes. And the plan was, of course, to present to the students the fellows' work, including, you know, we have some who have topics of infectious disease like HIV, malaria, some in nutrition, etc. But also the plan was to invite the students uh, to, to KCMC where they could have opportunity to learn and get an understanding of what are some of scientific activities of going, but also academic. But following the previous uh, meeting for uh, community and public engagement here in Kampala, we, we realized we need to revise our action plan and uh, so far, of course, uh, fellows had already engaged with some of the stakeholders, including school teachers. They had already identified school, they have done some part of community engagement, like one who goes to the refugees camp. And uh, next was to identify now the experts of interest among the fellows to see which groups or organization, individuals, have certain expertise so that they can engage with, with and collaborate for the sake of uh, implementation. Next will be, of course, initiation meeting where they can organize meetings with the stakeholders, mapping who are the key stakeholders, but also orient the stakeholders with the projects they are planning to do. Um, the issue of human-centered approach in CPE, we thought it's important, and some of the fellows are already thinking about how to do this. Um, engaging target group was another thing. Of course, I've mentioned about present their work, which some of them have done already, but also try to understand and learn from the students and see what are their interests and what are their knowledge and how they can together co-create and design some of these CP activities. Um, so further is to discuss with the students on the selected, based on the previous meeting now, will be to select some of their project of, inter of interest, but also discuss on models they want to get and distribute the knowledge. At this step, of course, they will need or they may need assistance from an expert of whom they will be uh, consulting. Uh, selection of school core groups. Of course, it's important for fellows as well to identify who are the students with interest in their particular CPE activities, and therefore they can choose some of the champions who will be leading some of these activities. It's important, of course, to give opportunity to these young students to be able to contribute and showcase their talent. Uh, plan project activities uh, <coughs> together with the experts. In engaging the, the whole team now, including the young school students and others, to do similar work. But another thing will be um, plan with clear timing. This is an area which still needs some work in order for them to be able to complete their activities. They need to plan well. Of course, some of the activities we thought could be before the actual uh, activities. Uh, material, tools, SOPs for some of the projects, but also how they are going to engage and train some of their champions, venues for meeting and so forth. We hope that during implementation, champions and fellows will select the modality of engaging, whether it's uh, using dramas, whether it's through games, and hopefully this will come as they discuss with these students. 
Uh, of course, we expect the fellows to engage the community within KCMC at different areas based on the expertise they need. Uh, what is important was about monitoring and evaluation. We would expect the fellows to assess and document part of their process, but how did this process happen and the, the process itself, it's important that they get that well documented. Things like their method they use, but also with thought of sustainability, how do these champions want the activity to be supported for continuation. Other CPE activities, uh, introduction of these groups of you know, fellow students and other in, uh, people who have been engaged in the CPE to be introduced to KCMC scientific resource, as I mentioned earlier, because there are opportunities to share the science and research. That's all, thank you.